Good afternoon, or whatever it is wherever you are. Hello, Jack. How's it going? So, somehow our second run's been going pretty good. Uh, barring what we do to ourselves by taking on additional people, uh, we're pretty much stable. Well, and the, um... Uh-oh. Which one was that? Oh. Okay. I guess that just got truncated from loading. So, I forgot about that. That's so why we have alarms. Hey, that's okay. We do what we gotta do. I love having company, but uh, eh, just playing games, so no biggie. Okay, so it's twice as fast as uh, infirmaries in a medical post. So I don't know if the uh, faith place is a different factor or what. Okay, so time is running. Uh, we had cleared all technologies. Oh, uh, I know what it had happened. It was just after a big storm. Uh, have we already sent out scout teams? We have not. Oops. All right, so after a big storm, uh, so this one did not warm up incredibly, but then we're gonna get a little little thing here. So where's our settings? Okay, most places are good. It is work time. But yeah, all this stuff is shut down. We're not using the factory right now. Our research is done. Uh, it's a kitchen and I think we've got, so it's just a resource depot and we've got an automaton on that. Uh, did I? It is ne negative 80. Uh, we probably had overdrive up during the storm proper. Yeah, there's still lots of pressure. Uh, so those aren't great right now. But we do have sufficient medical for all our people. So yeah, we're, we're still gonna working that down. We, we never even turned this one on. Most places are good. Yeah, well, I mean, I think originally it was just like the main scenario. Okay, so weather is minus six right now. This thing... Okay, so the, build, the building and the tech are different, but it's basically four plus four. And I guess two steps down is considered midline. Uh, temperature's gonna break. Uh, do we need? I mean, we don't need the coal. I guess we're okay. Uh, okay, so scouts out. Um. Could probably at least run slow. Uh, vacant beds, 36, 20. All right, so I might need to prepare another suburb in case we find people. Uh, so we've got like a bunch of inspection here. We've got a bunch of hunters here. Oh, and did I have not sent up my hunters yet? <laughs> you have a automaton working in you. We're still work, working dead medical. You've got an automaton working in you. 
Uh, that's another automaton out there. Right, I mean, put these in some refueling depots. Uh, oh, you know, I was, I was thinking of doing a suburb over here because we've got all this mining, although really these people can get there pretty easily. Uh, but there is some space over here. Wouldn't be super efficient. It would be a little bit closer to town and stuff. Uh, oh, shoot, yeah, they, they, they show us. Oh, uh, so, uh, well, there, the, a lot of the lore is kind of background. Um, actually, here, uh, here, let's, uh, uh, so basically it is, you are, well, the, the main scenario is that you are the refugees of steampunk London. Uh, in a, I don't know, I guess you'd call it post-apocalyptic, um, great global cooling. I, I had a better way to say that once. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. Rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us. No matter wealth or class, we've lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. Farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to an end. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. So that's about the lore, the basic lore you get. Uh, there's a few other little tidbits that show up. Actually, yeah, load game. Uh, something about uh, oh, presented the papers. It's called a new meteor shower. Okay, okay, that was. Uh, yeah, so meteor showers, uh, uh, something about a couple of volcanoes going off, something about the sun also dimming at the same time. So no one's super sure, but there, there's like a whole bunch of problems going on. Uh, so I was trying to approximate what the reduced ring of this is going to look like, because it's... I mean, I guess I've got the coal now, but... It is kind of a big bump. So, if we assume somewhere in there... I've got to figure out how to... Well, some of that's off in rock. 
So really we want to kind of be in the center of this area somewhere. Yeah, something like that. Maybe we try to get some roads out from, let's see if it's the soup kitchen. Oh, this is actually back a little bit. That's probably actually as far as we can go. Uh, and then it might be good to get a straighter line out to this place. I'll have to build some other roads as we go. And then somewhere in here... So we think the distance to town is going to be pretty good. It's just a question of... Uh, trying to avoid... Oh, there's a rock over here I wasn't even seeing. Wonderful. Well, yeah, actually better use of this space might involve backing up a little bit. Because I was not seeing this big rock here from back there. Well, maybe you can kind of see it from there. Yeah, but as we push back here, we start losing stuff to this. It might not really matter. Can't see exactly what our building radius is, but I'll probably cover most stuff. probably afford to do here. You know, they might need a... Hmm. And we can probably squeeze this in outside the heat zone. Nope. House. Okay, so I mean, we're eventually going to want roads here. And yes, they're going to be very chilly right now. Uh, ooh. Uh, let's just assume we extend this out. We can have a line for this area. Uh, I can I want to see this heat zone before I start putting too much stuff down. Cool <laughs> no joke, uh-huh. Okay, medical situation is improving. Uh, oh, uh, how are we? I mean, I probably used all my stuff already. Yeah. But you have to keep doing the religious propaganda to keep hope up. Because like, uh, you get a big hit every time a storm comes. Uh, is this going to be housing, although we don't need it yet? Well, I'm, for now, I need it on to, to see it while I work. Ooh, it's not even... We're not even getting a, a ring here. But we should still be able to see the range here. Oh. I mean, that'd be a good place for a church, but it's possible... I almost want to move the houses back one and redo this ring road, because I'm just kind of going from this other, this other heat source here. But that might be a good place for a church. Uh, how's the spacing on the back end? Um, okay, well, it's, it's different in different places, so... Oh, I haven't been watching... Yeah, this one has a cold mark on it. Uh, well, this is going to be heated, yes, yes. Uh, oh, yeah, when, when it, as, long as, the, as long as this is heated, it's... Or, um, green, it's... Oh, that's the rock. Uh, that one is actually on this, but this is a working day only. That's heated. That's invalid territory. 
That is not heated. Uh, and then all of these people. Okay, so some of them are covered over here. It's not enough space for this. Well, streets, streets we can fix. We need to fix a couple others. Uh, so that'll be pretty good. And then I guess we do another one over here. And then some entertainment. Those are kind of indifferent. We had a space back here, right? Yeah. Okay, you need a road. Oh, this is a house that I misread. Well, that could have affected... Oh, yep, it's not uh, lit up. So, conceivably, I could have put some of this other stuff someplace else. It's got some reached radio station. Uh, we got some resources and discovered one more site. Okay, temple to this automatic thing. It's also kind of my, my reminder to check on abilities. All right, we should have 140 beds research. Should hold us for a little while. Uh, oh, uh, here's something. I might want to take some of that space out. There's a whole bunch of people are going to be far from a cookhouse. Uh, it is next to a. It is not. Hmm. Well, I could probably bump. I could juggle some of this stuff around. Uh. I'm not sure there would be space here. This is not heated. Yeah, I might want to juggle some of this stuff around. Because I would have it heated during the... Well, people would still be going over here. So really, I might need to take out this little corner house here. Oh, but that's probably not going to have space because it's a rock. Oh. Invalid. Okay, so that's grid, but it's invalid placement location because of the uh, Wisman GB. Uh, yeah, I might just take out one house. Too fast. Wooden raw food. Two sites. Ooh, movement. Uh, well, that means there might be people there, so I'd really rather get that in the way back. Just a waypoint. Truly bizarre ice formation with like, like frozen sea waves. I don't know if I've seen I've seen that event before. Not that I, and I'm not really paying a whole lot of attention to it. Oh no, build mode pauses it. Oh, no, yeah, that's up against the rock. I forgot about that. Um, 
And I feel like you're probably up against a rock, too. Well, I can remove my nice straight road here and... Well, no, it's just, it's just the wrong size. Well, we'll have to see if they deal with having to go place someplace else. Oh yeah, put the other cookhouse over here too, so that shouldn't be too far. And we're getting lots of coal again. We have not got our crisis event for this round yet. Maybe it'll come along when the temperature fully warms up here. Uh, oh, um, you know what I can do? I can shut down the extended medical wing. Since there's nobody sick. Uh, so we've still got standard stuff over here. We've got one infirmary, one house of healing. Care house is kind of an extended area because no one needs extended care. All right. So I think at 60, we can actually go down to steam too. Uh, now we actually take some time to reach there. Uh oh. Well, there's no numbers on that, but okay. We'll have to be a little bit careful with that. Now, we've been sort of optimizing against this, but given the scale of the penalty of the other penalties, uh, we may have to open up our medical wing again for this cycle. Oh, you know what, actually... Well, they're, they're warm now. They were on the cold end before. So possibly not just not having... Since we've got lots of coal... Uh, just not having people working out here might be good. Oop. Oop, coal pile... Field kitchen's already off... Steam Coal Thumper. Oh. There's actually, uh... Coal... Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a steampunk setting. And supposedly one of the reasons they went up to the north is because there were good coal deposits there. All right, so people are still leaving. People are still leaving. Uh, sites discovered. Large crater. Research outpost. Six and one half dozen the other. So we are watching for little warm bodies uh, leaving this area. Yeah, so we shouldn't need that. Okay. No one's complaining about like cold at home or cold at work or anything I can see. Oh my gosh, we're getting steel up. Uh, we've got these little ones. 
Well, no, I might need a big one. Uh, unfortunately, oh, you know what? Construction puts people out in the cold construction areas. So unfortunately, it's not going to be... Yeah, I mean, we don't need to store those resources as much. Icy maze. Remember not to go in too deep. Oh, well, okay. Uh, we discovered more sites. Huge crate. Empty campsite. Okay, this is just a waypoint. This is oh, this is generator still cooling down. So you want to, given the enhanced um, sickness here, we want to we actually probably want to keep things in the hot. And if we do get people getting sick, we want to try and figure out where they're at. Oh, when it, once it starts getting colder is when the sickness will probably be a real problem. But we can easily absorb two levels just on our basic generator here. Okay, yeah, we're still we're still red. Uh, just another snow covered supplies. Okay, uh, oh, we do have to build hope for our next cycle here. We've got plenty of food. Because every time the big storm comes, people get, people lose a lot of hope. Ooh, steam cores. Buried Treadnought. Excited. Okay. A little bit of food. Uh, okay, so you, well, we can see movement. Uh, you're going to a dreadnought, so you're going to go back. We haven't seen the storm yet. Uh, you know what? I believe you can go a little bit faster to known waypoints. Research outpost. More steam cores. All right, so you, empty campsite is a waypoint. A large crater, seems like it might be something. Of course, maybe the waypoint is leading us out to the to the dreadnoughts. Oh, nope, there's the storm. All right, gotta start keep, keeping an eye on that as we... What was the event? Ah, that was a... Uh, ice Jaws. I guess they've maybe not gotten there yet? Because I paused? No, you're just waiting. Okay, I guess the click didn't register. Broken tree, endless desert. Yeah, so... Oh, no, you got to this point. There's something to do here. Okay, 19 hours. We definitely still have multiple days left. Uh, one, two, three days, approximately. Buried Dreadnought. All right, we've got a fair number of supplies. Uh, okay, we don't need steam cores. We do have to get some of those back or disassemble some 
uh, automatons or something. Lovely, we can teleport those resources out there. And then they're going to be traveling back, so we will never get, get to empty campsite. Probably. Yep. Yeah, as far as hard as we go. Oh yeah, all right, okay, no, this stuff's still down. I think our coal's still going up. And I don't even, I don't even need to be running this yet. I haven't found any people here. I think some people did move into these houses, though. Yeah, and in, into some of them, and they must be closer to work or something. steal again. Large cr- oh, survivors. Uh, not that many. Uh, so we're not gonna get to abandoned sawmill or abandoned wreck. From the looks of things. So crater can be a survivor site, probably good to know. Watching the next explorers come in here. Broken tree, distinct spot. Buried dreadnought. We um, probably have time for that. Yeah. They're all excited. Oh, that's the automatic speed reset every day. Brace yourselves. Oh. Is coming. Okay, so that did knock us down a level. More time. Get back to work. Oh, uh, yeah, during the storm, the first flying hunter got more steam cores. All right, uh, archives. One moment. Categories of hunting in Frostland. <clears throat> First thing we learned that the barrels of rifles carried the usual way become jammed with fine windborne powder. The second, uh, that when carried muscle down, rifles get stuck into the snow whenever we stumble or sink to our knees. Thereafter, an old sock put on the business end of the barrel was the preferred solution, although when the picture above was being taken, I had re removed the sock to preserve my image as a fearless explorer. We soon discovered that hunting in Frostland is an activity very unlike our favorite pastime back in England. Although well, the game is not skittish. It is so scarce that to bag anything at all, one has to search for hours upon hours, waiting in knee-deep snow. This drove us to attempt the first and so far and last so far airborne assisted hunt in Frostland. I have volunteered, being the adventurous sort. Rumors about the existence of a better entirely fanciful. We fashioned a string of sturdy kites, and I soon found myself dangling from <laughs> Aaron Eagle's talons. Staring at the faces of my friends looking up at me, their poorly concealed concern <laughs> rapidly turning rising in direct proportion to my altitude. Whipped around by the icy wind, I tried to look for prey while at the same time not looking down, a feat which I found quite impossible. Upon my happy return to terra firma, I let my friends know in no uncertain terms that while the idea had promised we were going to need a more stable platform for it to work. And also another volunteer. Until both can be secured, we have to rely on <laughs> lowly traps and less than our rifles. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, you are waiting at the city. And we have... Uh, one, two and a half days? One and a half to get out there. Probably less than one, or, or only a one to get back. Uh, abandoned sawmill. Okay, cargo haulers. Uh, waypoint. Yeah, if it's a waypoint plus something else, probably not. Small settlement. One day, 12 hours. Circle of stones. Movement. Man, I just skipped all the people this time. Well, you're closer. Uh, and then we had steam cores. Uh, you know what? We're about to hit a dreadnought. I should definitely see if we need anything to get that uh, relic there. Uh, fire has gutted this dreadnought. This myth parts. Yep, 500 wood, 300 steel, and one steam core. At least we got one back. And then they are going to automatically return. Okay, a bunch of people. We already, we already built some housing. We got more steam cores, which we should now be in a pretty good position to... Uh, permanent greenhouses could be a nice thing. Uh, we have... Yeah, permanent greenhouses might be a, a decent investment for events that come up, but with the treacherous cold, I don't want people out doing construction if I can help it. Uh, you... Okay, we have... Well, still two days... Maybe I should have saved the closer one for the next guy to come back. Uh, endless desert. Cargo. Uh, one day, 12 hours with two days. Seems dubious. One day, 13 hours. Yeah. Where's the beacon? Uh... I probably could heat up the factory easy enough. Uh, if I wanted to build automatons. And really, if we did the greenhouses, we, we, I'd kind of like to have automatons to work. Yeah, I mean, maybe one, one greenhouse with an automaton to work it. There's our freebie. We do another cold drop coming up here. Yeah, actually, during the serious cold, this is probably when this is going to... Well, these often come out, like, partway through the deep cold. So maybe it won't be too bad. Of course, that one did take a while to come on, come in, so it might be... Storm on the horizon. Yep. Well, yeah, let's see. So, yeah, we get these guys out. They should be fine. Get to work. Go, oh, and that, that's that was the hope event. Chemical plant sketch. Maybe chemical plant didn't uh, make didn't make the cut. Oh, uh, that's an archive thing. Forbidden fruit. Uh, it deeply saddens me to say that while this design is elegant and highly practical, I cannot recommend implementing it. Hard liquor is the least dangerous among the variety of substances an unscrupulous leader could use to keep the people in check. And this plant is capable of turning out many drugs and stimulants as well. It is our duty to weigh the benefits of the colony of the ver 
uh, for the colony, the various chemicals that can be produced in this plant against the moral danger some of them pose. Not just to the well-being of the populace, but to their immortal souls. How about another hand? Remove from official circulation, but do not destroy. Transfer to proposals under consideration. <laughs> so I guess that this was like the, the secular path to hope. Just drug the people. <laughs> like, well, no, that might still be a, a removal of discontent thing, as with the other, um, and we can burn more food, because we've got lots of food. Continue f getting that hope. Uh, so, yeah, I, that return trips are pretty good. Oh, actually, this is going to go for two days. Well, yeah, it won't go through all of it, I think. Do some of it. Yep, survivors. Uh, yeah, another 30 ish. And your. Well, it doesn't show me the travel time now. Oh, no, 12 hours. Yeah, you should be fine. We've got 100. Th yeah, a little over 100 houses. Uh, medicine's fine. Food is still positive. Oh, are we? Are we making regular meals? I may have switched that up at some point when things got tight. Regular rations. Well, yeah, no one's showing up as eating soup. So I think we're all, yeah, we're all on regular rations. Just that they prefer not to eat those, so they stick around in the store pile. Uh, steel, we're not burning wood right now. Coal is good, but we have another drop coming. Okay. Oh, yeah, they're going to be here a whole day before. Okay, you guys can go chill. Housing. Wait. We went from 100 houses to 31 homeless? Did I misread some numbers there? I appear to have, like, misplaced a significant digit? Well, turn up the heat for the people camping. I had 133 empty houses. We brought back 30 people? Was it 300? I wish I could see that now. I mean, sure, we brought back an... I thought we... Yeah, two people brought back dreadnoughts. I guess two people went out and got, but I thought it was only like 30 people each. No residents. No residents. Okay, the... the what? We'll just restart that. It's synchronizing something. Uh-oh. I'm not dropping any frames. I got basic network. 
Uh, do I need to restart Steam as well? Uh, dip, 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 dip. Don't move my mouse. Let's see if they figure it out. Cause it didn't show me any vacant houses. I mean, it's like if, if people like hadn't found houses yet, okay. But I should still have empty houses then. Yeah, I guess overbuild isn't necessarily obvious, but they do highlight them. Alright, so we still have... Uh, we'll... There's a rock there. I could build a cold house. just to see if it bumps the system. Or, alternately, uh, destroy these houses and rebuild them to see if it notices. Oh. Okay, we no longer have homeless. And we have vacant beds again, yay. Okay, I already turned this up because I was trying to keep them from getting too sick. Steel's going haywire again. So we're going to have two levels, two levels. I guess we save overdrive for the last bit. That's still going to be some time at 80 degrees. Well, actually, you know, what's the time on this? One day, eight hours. Yeah. That's probably like one day. So I'm probably going to want to overdrive through this and then take a break after that resolves. Uh, but, actually, if I want to turn this on, oop, a little bit of lag there. And since people are supposed to be getting extra sick, we're going to go ahead and turn on our other little overflow area here. Just to make sure we got capacity for this.
Oh yeah, well, that was at least yellow. Oh yeah, and all the hunters. Uh, I do not want you guys spending time out there at night. Nobody's sick yet, but we are burning overdrive. Uh, 17 hours. Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to resolve right when the, the deeper cold hits. Uh, a couple of these are off cooldown. Yeah, we're over 50% already, so can't go the whole way through. Alright, we're gonna take a little bit of that. Haven't even, got, haven't even gotten sick yet. And now it gets chilly. Ooh, man, I may have misjudged that. Back to normal. Hmm. Well, actually, no. That's what's this? Well, a lot of people are in houses all the time. Hmm. Because we've been automating a lot of things. Some people are out of houses during the day. Ooh, man, even the even the doc, even the hospitals. Yeah, there's the sickness. Gotta keep on building that hope. Okay, we're, we're in solid free time right now, so they're going to be like middle of the night, everybody's at home. Oof, and yeah, even with the overdrive on. Okay, free time. Is it a warning on this? Uh, I did? Y yes, I did. Thank you. Oh! And we pretty much made it to the day. Uh, we just got a big medical back... Oh, you know what I forgot about? That was going through it so fast. Boosted recovery. Should have remembered that earlier. But we'll get people out, out quick. Uh, okay, so temperature broke. I need the medical on for a little while. Oh yeah, I can do this. Alright, temperature broke. Beacon. Get ye into the frostlands. Uh, 
Uh, got all that stuff. Uh, we've not got our hazard yet. So this was this was actually converted from where I used to have a food farming area. And I've got this bugged temperature circle out here. It uses a hot house zone. Or the start of a hot house zone anyway. So we do one industrial hot house. We give it since we seem to have enough coal, give it one of you, uh, just in case, we give it one of you. And then we turn on uh, 24 hours on. Really? Oh, you know what? Because you're on a path to a cookhouse. Well, given how well things went last time, overall, maybe that's good? Okay, you've got workers assigned. Hmm. Yeah, because I want to have the one steam core in case we get the... Um, one of the really hard dreadnoughts again. Get to work. Move, people. There's plenty to do. I think that there are some buildings that are... Uh, like this thing, for instance. It's an automaton, but if I've got this on, we could really have people working at it. And we could jump the automaton out to this zone. Oh, you know what? This has to be heated no matter what, because it's a hothouse. Actually, uh, negative 80. No, yeah, negative 80 is right about where you want Steam Level 4 to be. Uh, now what's you? So we don't get an actual number here. We're... Heat zone, well, yeah, the heat zone's plus 4. We can only offset <clears throat> uh, four from the base building. Well, we can also do the heater. That's only, w well. Yeah, we don't get numbers on this one. I. Is that so? Is that only level two heaters? Where is... Uh, so 24 hours in a day times 31 heaters. Right, but it's only working hours, which is about 10 per day, right? 310. 544 divided by 31. 17. Ten hours per day. 1.7? I don't know. That seems closer to 2 per. Hmm. So this has to be a heated building regardless. Well, I mean... Yeah, so right now it's... Oh, no, because the heat zone takes a while to disappear. Uh, there's the building heater, which does three levels, but only while, well, people could be automatons if we shuffle things around. Uh, so we've actually even got plenty of steel. Uh, 
Oh, does that don't wait, does that literally mean only when people are working in it? Well, it doesn't have a warning sign, so even at this temperature level, it's okay. Frozen Hulk. Converted cruiser. A little bit of resources. Endless desert. Uh, let's see, last time... I think I went through fewer houses than this with everything we found. So I don't know that I need to build another suburb yet, although it could be something to start planning. Wait, where are people getting sick? Or are we, or are we still working down? Yeah, you like you're in medical. We're, we're still just working things down. Okay. Uh... All right, so we got hunters' huts here. Uh, food, as we're adding people. Oh well, we've, we're, we're going to have the greenhouse now, so we should be keeping par with that. Uh, oh, this, this is—it's uh, kind of we're up against. That would be a time to do construction on storage and stuff. Uh. Well, it would be the time to do all construction, actually. Except we'll have a, a, a calamity at some point here. Uh, I skate. Uh, Circle of Stones, Movement, Ruined Hut, Endless Desert. Further Exploration. Rusty Shack, Endless Desert. When you look a lot closer to this one. Okay, yeah, it gets it while working, regardless. Alright, I think that's going to go back down to 60. Uh, because we use twice as much coal as usual. I think we'll survive. This time, I think we'll survive. We can always fire up the thumper again if we need to. And there's a shut down something out here, right? Oh, my second steel works. Probably waiting for the automaton to work it. So this is our prime construction time. Uh, now that the weather is a little bit better. Yep, large resource depot. Connecting anything out there, but uh, 
Uh, I mean, maybe I should just make a ridiculously long road out here and have storage in the boonies. If I ever get, can get a free automaton, we can clean up some of these piles, too. Alright. Uh, the other thing we wanted to do... So this area is kind of getting taken over by storage. Uh, oh, uh, I can shut down the medical wing. I guess I don't... I mean... Uh, we are negative. Savings would be good. Heaters are on in there as well. That helps a little bit. Uh, this one is not being used right now. Cave. Buried Hamlet. Uh, settlement. I want to hit those on the way back if I can. Oh, that's right. We're looking for... I mean, this, this puts me next to hospitals and possible work here. I guess there's also, I've got this road out here to the wall drill. If ever wanted to have people work that, then people be nearby. So we can tell about how big those are. Uh, well, actually, the main heat zone is up here, but we've got this gigantic rock in the way. Uh, this probably seems optimal as far as the space there. And having that be an initial cross street seems like a start. Although it's not going to line up nicely with these guys. Oh, yeah, I guess we could have tried to line up with their... Well, even they're not going to necessarily lined up nicely with it. Wooden raw food. We've got a research outpost. And... Waypoint. Wait point. Okay, this time, well, yeah, I can, I can only do so much uh, without being able to see my distances here. So, it's directly online here, I think we're good there. And beyond that, I'm going to want my range. Uh, no, roads are being built. Uh, Alright, we think we're not going to need that. Oh, we could probably afford it under normal circumstances. Abandoned wreck. Circle of stones. We're going to that on the way back if we can. Lone boulder. Endless Desert. Alright, we should have our heat ring now. Oh, no, it's still adjusting. I think. Alright, you're in range, you're in range, you're in range, you're in range. You're a rock. You are not in range and awkward. Okay. Uh, and 
you guys need roads. So we had no residential out here. Uh, we can cover a little bit of stuff there. Ended up being a not very awkward space. You've got a slightly longer reach. That would make somewhat better use of that space. Okay, just the construction sites show up brighter because they've got all the girder work and stuff. And can we actually probably just take that road over? Got a couple things back off cooldown. Ooh, steam cores. Very dreadnought. Cracked ice. It's just endless desert. But we can already see the. Ooh, time is running. We can already see the storm coming. Stealing coal. And no more points. We've got Circle of Stones. 18 hours. Moan Boulder. Mm. We actually got an awful lot done in the final days last time. Uh, it's like I could get there faster doing this. And if I could run time in this view. That would be great, but I, can't, I don't have a way to keep track of it. They're just pausing a lot. More steam cores. Uh, no more navigation points. Buried Hamlet might be people, cracked ice, endless desert, and you are not going to do anything. One day, six hours. That might be enough time to run around a bit. Oh, they're going to have navigation points off of that. Well, you know, I'm prepared for people. I don't need people. Ruined hut. Uh, oh, no, that was the waypoint on the way to Circle of Stones, Lone Boulder. Yeah, we're going to try and get there first. So you usually get people back at least a day early. I, mean, I guess during the warm period would have been a good time to mine more Mr. Coal, but we're just going to be doing fine. Oh, uh, speaking of which, coal, steel, knock that down for a bit. That's a lot of coal. Uh, almost undamaged, toxic hazard, relatively minor. Just 
about to cool off. Well, I mean, we've got so much stored coal, I don't know if it matters that we can store more. Uh, I could convert some of these back. I want raw food. Okay, sure. We just freed up some steel. Wow. We were, like, actually storing some stuff there. Uh, however... Awkward. Oh, this is turning into a mess out here. Okay, we can see the storm now. Lone Boulder. Ooh, our oop. Okay, Dreadnought. But we can see the storm now. All right, Tipper's gonna drop. Food's pretty good. Oh, timer reset again. Was that road unbuilt or did it not connect? I think it's just unbuilt. Spot in Northland, damaged snowcat. All right, two more steam cars. Practical prosthesis. Function above form. You're good indebted to the late Mr. Henry Big, particularly for his seminal book on artificial limbs, their construction and application, published by the Royal College of Surgeons of England. Building upon his work, we were able to restore the patient most of the lost functionality, including not only the action of the elbow joint, but also that of the wrist in several motions of pronation, supination, and rotation. The appearances can be seen in the drawing above was deemed secondary. The motion of the artificial limb is assured by small motors, which use the motive power of the lamp device, or when the lamp is removed in the internal springs that can be run by locking the elbow joint and bending it repeatedly, for example, by leaning on it. Uh, and actually, so yeah, you're the ones who are out. Ooh, very dreadnought. Fire has gutted it. One steam core. Good thing we're finding more. All right, you are at base. We have one, two and a half days. You've got a dreadnought. Large crater is going to be people. Circle of stones is going to be people. Buried hamlet might be people. 
you know what? These are actually pretty easy things to hit. Uh, but we're at the longest time we're going to have to get somewhere. Uh, so these guys might yet be able to pick a trip. Okay, slightly negative, but we've got good stockpiles. Steel. And that is actually it. Oh, so the most useful thing you can do now, uh, besides taking some steam cores home, would be to go over here. Ooh, two days and well, you could go over here. Yeah, so you can almost hit that on the way home. And then from here, now we've moved ourselves partly out of the way. Yeah, we're gonna get in that storm warning pretty soon. I don't even necessarily feel like I've built up as much hope as I should have. But that's more like it. <clears throat> storm on the horizon. There goes all our hope. Okay, resources, resources, resources. Steam core model. Uh, no, you. Ah, yeah, this is the area we're familiar with. Tragic loss of dragonfly. The chest with the model was waterproof and remained afloat, but the safe containing the blueprints and their documentation presumably sank with the rest of the wreckage at a depth of at least a thousand fathoms. The cause of the accident is at present unknown, but it's exceedingly unlikely that anyone will ever read this report. I allow myself the liberty to speculate that it was either a mechanical failure or a pilot error. Contributing factors include weather, inadequate crew training, and the experimental na nature of the aeroplane. It was sheer follow on the part of Mr. Hawkins to attempt the crossing in a largely untested machine and utter criminal madness to let him board it. Okay. Seems like kind of a random aside. Oh, because you arrived back. All right, what's our what's our time? A day and some. So you can get out there in that time. Uh, as you can see, one day and three hours. That backtracking might be might cost us here. So this is one day. They come back faster than they go out. But that's... Uh, well, neither of these guys are carrying anything right now. Seems like I got back really early last time. Oh, so you could actually get here faster than you. Hmm. Oh, no, and these guys aren't even there yet. They've got 19 hours to get there. Uh, I'd be less concerned if I was only risking one scout. But even then, the return trip is probably, like you, could get home in 14 hours. 
which is still more than half a day. And that's probably comparable to this. So one day, 13 hours, call it 14 hours to get back. Maybe more. Might be doable. Uh, this is what, like 5 or 6 a.m.? We're at 12 now. One day and a few hours puts us at like 15 on this day. So even 14 hours would be pushing it. One day and three hours is, yeah. Actually, I could have sent you here first, 10 hours and then onto here. We probably already lost so much time that I'm not sure that that's, I mean, that does. 12 hours versus one day. Uh, then you have to traverse the remaining distance. Probably still faster. Like, you could travel to here in nine hours. And then to there in a little bit less. Uh, I guess this guy could wait till he gets there, because it's... This should have enough time to go home. probably get 10 hours there and 10 hours back. Well, even 10 hours out and 10 hours back is 20. Well, we've got 20 in some. You could almost certainly get out here. Okay, and you've got actual useful resources. All right, time is now 1424. Uh, time to here is 16 hours. Time back to base is more than 13. Probably... Upper teens by the time we get here? Uh, so, if, I mean, if it's 16 to 16, it's like 32. And we've actually gone remarkably fast. Is my warning that I should probably take a break at some point, which uh, let's see, so thirty-two. It's like it's the point where you could almost make it. <laughs> 
And I've been feeling kind of limited by steam cores here. We'll let these guys have a look at things. And then I will be back in a few minutes. I'm gonna cover your hole with the rover. Oh yeah, there's rocks. Okay, I should be. I should be good. Okay. Nope. I, I, okay, I, you you covered the hole with the rover, all right. <laughs> you're you're welcome. Like Does it, so server? <laughs> ah, we're just doing DS2 apparently. Yo, flip. Yo. Do you want to be uh, one of the best offers I know? Yeah, I'm on the team. Team. Um, well, I I know. Do you want to meet the best offer I know? His name is Kenny. Oh, um, I would like friend. them both to meet each other. Oh, um, oh bad uh, enough. That's easy. Does you Kenny? Ever 1v1? No, not that I know of. Yeah. Look how accurate those fuckers are! So I just gave up on it. I don't know how they do it. <laughs> the only games I was ever... What was your mother's... What? <laughs> Where did that come from? Of course you were. Okay, stop making oh, fun of me. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, Draco's suicide all over again? Clutch Very doors? cheating. I don't think they'll play. Why would I? How, why would I have Song Quest enabled for uh, an RPG? Okay, now we're gonna go get the treasure. I might be really good at Dark Souls by then, this because um. Get ready to dodge it. Rats over here left somewhere. I can't find him. Oh! What the hell? This hit me. Hello, Oh. Sniper detected. Okay, I'm gonna fit this lap.
install this in the okay I'm just gonna say do that do rescue layers carry him carry him on no that's his bed okay uh rescue mayors carry him to the bed in the c on in the mountain basically all right welcome back we will see how this plan turns out okay we just had that hit Okay, uh, uh, okay, so these are scouts. They need to be making moves. <clears throat> we still have at least one day, so that... I'm... Right, these are, these are, these are advisors are both going to waypoints, so this is, this is the decision point now. Oh, also it looks like the storm might be an enclosing ring. Hmm. Alright, so return time is currently 14 hours. We have at least 24. It is 21.30. This is a 5-ish? Yeah. So 5 plus to call it seven hours. The 33-ish. You would take 12 hours to reach there. And perhaps 14, well, more than 14, 16, <clears throat> to reach there. That's like 36. We think we've got like 32. Likewise, you would take 11 hours to reach there and probably on the order of in the order of 14 to get back. So that's, that's at least possible, I think. And then we're going to want to check in with you every once in a, once in a while. If, uh, so yeah, you're the one traveling someplace different. So every few hours, eight hours to arrive, 10 hours to return. So that's 18, at least 18 hours. We've still got some night time. Okay, I returned to the city with steam cores. Uh, that's actually enough to do something. Uh, we wanted to get... Uh, yeah, you know what? This is a terrible time to build. Uh, probably not a terrible time to make an automaton. Right, because we're partially relying on the heater for this place. We are actually running that coal. Oh, no. I always move these around. So yeah, that'll be the hothouse, automaton to run it, and then one in case we need to pop a relic next time. And then you have returned to the city.
All right, so you have five hours to arrive. Uh, no, that's the other scout. Eleven hours to return. Sixteen total, ish. And we are not yet to the twenty-four hour mark. Yeah, so I don't know exactly how the boosted sleds work. Do they work against the... Okay, oh no, I should get six. But it's probably about time to turn this up. Oh no, it's seven. Okay. So I was off by two hours there. I might be able to make the other one. Ten out of thirty-one people. And endless desert. Uh, you were the one who just returned home because I didn't think I could make it. Okay, uh, I guess for now... We stick you in there. Oh, I never turned the heater on because it used to be doing an automaton. Oops. Oh my gosh, we need a food storage. Nice problem. Well, yeah, because we've got the hothouse going now. Alright, so we're going to have two and two, so it's probably going to be wait out the first one. Scouts have returned. We've got plenty of empty houses. Oh, and you can be disbanded. Don't want you waiting in the cold outpost. And then you guys can go home for now. Yeah, and it wouldn't steal. We can probably just kind of leave the uh, storage-wise. Well. Alright, so this is the first batch. Uh, it's the second one that's really bad. Yeah, garden... Admittedly, pushing through with the heat had went somewhat better than I expected last time. Uh, well, it's work time, so maybe I'll try and get him, get him at night. Well, I think it's like two days, basically, so... Oh, uh, you guys, speaking of at night, do not hang out here. And we might as well get the hospital wing opened up. We're probably going to need it. You usually get a pretty big rush. And we're getting, and as we have more people in town, we're going to have more people get sick. All right, work time. Free time. Ooh, there's lots of people going out here. Oh, right, because this thing. Maybe, hmm. Maybe the fighting arena should be heated. Alright, so we're sleeping. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder if it's the fighting arenas. I haven't that 
People don't really spend much time there, but in this kind of cold. Oh, you know what? Oh, you cannot shut these down. You would have to actually dismantle them during the cold. Hmm. Oh, now you see... Well, we'll see if I can get away with the night before. Because now this is the super cold. Temporary hazard is down, so coal should be dandy. But I might have to rebuild my arenas here. Now, we've got enough surplus housing that it would be kind of okay to move these into heat areas a little bit. We could probably afford to shuffle some houses around. Uh, well, we're, we're knocking out the medical really good. Oh, uh... Yeah, a couple of these are up. Oh, and we have people in medical houses. Uh, you're off. Don't need you yet. You have no patience. You have some patience. You have no patience. You have no patience. Well, they're probably gonna get more. Uh, yeah, you know what? I thought it might have been the uh, kitchens. But it might be going out to the arenas. Hunter's Huts. Oop, Industrial Hot House is also in the rotation now. And Beacons. And that's up to rebuild our hope for next time. Uh, yeah, we had a big old burst of sickness. Which ones didn't we get before? Or they, maybe they've all burned it down. I haven't, you haven't burned it down. Uh, other medical. You were already on. You have no patience. Uh, this is, uh, this is going to be a two-stage warm-up, it looks like. So this would be a better time for construction. Oh, uh, well, construction is going to include shuffling this stuff around. End of shift. Go rest all you can. All 
All right, first scout, distinct spot, frozen river, endless desert, endless desert. Uh, you might have a chance to loop over this way, so let's go here. Scout's unit. Did we uh, make and create them too many, did they disband them too many times? Stone Obelisk, Snow Dune, Endless Desert, Endless Desert. Uh, once again, I guess we're the farthest from anything else. Mace Rock, Exploration, Ice Needles, Endless Desert. Wait, why are you waiting? All right, so we're gonna warm up a lot. Seems to be good, kind of go between 60 and 80 and 120 for the most part. Uh, 20% smaller. Yeah, so this basically works out to the same thing as before. Uh, okay, so this one's actually fine. Uh, we lost two houses here, which actually, people are pretty good about avoiding the cold houses. Uh, it's got a automaton working in it. Zero, 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 zero. Yeah, so we've got enough vacant beds right now. And those might even be some good places to look at uh, swapping out for, like, the, the fighting rings and stuff. Uh, since those are places that will be usually heated, but not, like, critical. And actually, you know what? I had, like, two fighting rings that were, like, right there. Uh, and I think this had a fighting ring that was right next to it. Um, this has House of Prayer, House of Prayer. So actually... Oh yeah, we didn't even cover this end. Unfortunately, it's this end that got the odd corners on it. And then we're also going to have to shuffle. Well, I'm pretty sure we've still got... Okay, so you've got people, you've got people... Yeah, no residents in a, you know, warm house. Oh, but we actually need to... We need to dismantle some of these just to get uh, stuff in. Now, this is going to be too close. So probably I'm going to have to do, like, this one. Which does have some people in it, unfortunately. Uh, we're taking down something over here, right? One of these? No. But it is an empty house. And then, <clears throat> uh, the ones around town center. Okay, so this is in the heat zone. Actually, this is in the heat zone. This one should actually be in a reasonable heat zone. Oh, they're, well, they're still outside. So in the storms, that could be a problem.
Well, also there might... No, because these are houses. Because I've expanded the heat zone to make up for the loss. Alright, so move that one inside the heat zone, move that one inside the heat zone. Uh, move these inside heat zones. Uh, we want to move that inside the heat zone. And that might leave this side a little bit uncovered. But discontent has really not been a problem for us. Cave ice jaws. Oh my gosh. Endless desert. Endless desert. This almost seems like it's so far out that it would. Maybe there is a dreadnought out there? Uh, also, I guess it'd be easier to swing back this way if I'm returning from there. Although, if we find the dreadnought that, that far out, we're gonna kind of have to take it. Jeez. Uh, that was you guys. New landmark, Doughty Shelter, Endless Desert, Isolated Shelter, Rickety Hut, we can't see any signs of life, Shelter, Thick Layer of Ice, ah, uh, you were actually kind of off one of your points, so really this guy was heading this way, uh, so this seems like a place that might have people. We can't see any signs of life. It's just a hut. Frozen river. Very dreadnought. Oh my gosh. They're, they're, they're. What's out here? Beyond a buried dreadnought. Uh, what still feels like pretty early, so I'm gonna go out here and try to get the dreadnought on the way back. Of course, we find people. Oh, we have already got our hazard. Uh, oh, and right, construction time. That leaves with one steam core in case we find something, so I think that I had put you in here for now. And then we'll have a automaton to work that. Gotta keep that hope up. Uh, we should have an automaton to work you. Uh, and, well, how much is this steam hub using these days? That is two of them now. Oh, we've got efficiency. It's, f well, two of them probably is four coal per hour. Yeah, so actually the range penalty on the hubs was not too bad this time. Cut off a couple of houses, but we had some spare houses. Oh. Uh, oh, is there a... Um, oh, we need to... Right, these things will still be cold this round. Get rid of the old ones. Uh, there's probably a fighting arena over here somewhere. Yeah. So, that might do better in other times. Uh, well, we already see that some of these are empty houses. 
Uh, so either be this corner or this corner. And it's kind of these four houses, so you're going to leave something out regardless. But there's got one more house over here. Oop, another one that's not being covered. So if we dismantle this house, we can move it up there. Actually, just doing this. So this one can go. And this one can go. And this one can go. And we have a lack of coverage over here. Uh, oh. That's... Well, it's, it's farther away from this stuff, so it's kind of not as good. I mean, it's heated. Gets a house. And then the ones in the center, we're just going to leave. Wood and coal, raw food. Very dreadnought. Oh, shelter, yeah. I don't know if we'll get there, but... Oh, you know what? I should have... Uh, can I still... Ah. I should have gone here and then actually explored it on the way back. But I'm far enough past here that... Uh... I might actually make it up on the return trip. Well, not the return trip. Yeah, because the return trip is to here. Yeah, we need a road. Get going. Time to earn your bread. Yep, we can see the storm. Ice jaws. Research outpost. These sometimes have steam cores. That's good. Alright, so this is this buried dreadnought. Um, this does not count as an explored thing yet. Fire has gutted. One steam core. Uh, leave it for now. I just, oh, it doesn't count as an explored site. No, we've still got plenty of time. A yellow flag. Definitely. Oh, you might be peoples. Which means we. Well, yeah, there's nobody else on that end of the map. We could fast travel out there. Well, we didn't even get all the near end points last time, so fine. We kept a steam core for a reason. Yeah, it's the same stuff. And I think somebody. No, we have not found any steam cores this time. Well, we could dismantle the hothouses, really. As long as we don't get the no hunting event. Steam cores. Ooh, three. Uh, so you have. Jeez. Well, you could go here in one day, and then get out there, or we could go to well. This direction found dreadnought. This direction found dreadnought. Um, you can definitely go here. And then there's a question of whether, whether it's worth going back there and then out here. Well, go here first. Uh, 
uh, almost done damage. It's relatively minor. Man, that was such a big deal in the beginning. Like a hundred wood. Man. Yeah, you've reached a waypoint. From here, it is 20 hours 11. Yeah, this point isn't that much closer to here. It would probably for it to make up the, the uh, difference in travel time. Scout's unit. <laughs> yeah, it stops counting after a while. Okay, it's going to 70. Oh my gosh, we're actually backlogging on raw food. I mean, cool. Oh, that's the only thing they found, huh? Uh, paused. My everyday tools. As a field surgeon, I saw my fair share of horrors that required amputations, but nothing could prepare me for the dreadful reality of living in this hell of North mythology. Really trying to survive in such temperatures is like being on a battlefield. Frostbite is as common as a bullet wound, and likewise as dangerous. So it's not surprising that the tools we received in London could have come straight from my field chest. With emphasis on speed and brutal efficiency. For Anastasia, I got a small bottle of ether and a wooden gag. God have mercy on us. Uh, so I was... Looks like we might need a... Well, we've got enough food now that... That super matter... I could probably move the field kitchen around here and sneak this into the work zone at least. But people will go there. So I might have to start building. We kind of got this for this branch. This for this branch. Yeah, we've got two right now. Well, this place is actually shut down. Um, I wonder if that's the field kitchen he's on. But this, this does count as a workplace. So if I were to maneuver the field kitchen around... And maybe move some, uh, move some roads... Problem is, it's not a normally hid place. And we could probably afford to run in it. Oh, that's actually going to be the oversize. Uh. Do 
that. And we still have this awkwardly sized thing here, but it's within range of all the heat stuff. Uh, if we were to choose to... Turn it on. Oh, shit, it's actually right next to the... Steam hub. I just feel there's no point in having people working out here when we got plenty of coal. And then actually this path does still exist. Alright, you... have employees... You can have employees. Wait. Are you actually outside the reduced heat range? And it showed me... No? You're in the current heat range. The lamp. Oh, it's not, it's not working hours. So you're gonna, your heater isn't on. Ah, the lamp that's on every person. Life-saving equipment. Of biggest concern is the ability to manufacture the device described in this patent in large numbers, while meeting a very strict timeline, and most importantly, to continue manufacturing on-site, where proper workshop tools and supplies might not be readily available. The device affords the user a source of light and heat, and a means to sound a distress signal, as such is considered vital for survival, and its malfunction in typical operating conditions is essentially a death sentence. Therefore, it is necessary to provide maintenance training for every engineer assigned to the expedition and to equip every draw knot with a set of blueprints and operation manuals. Some earlier designs here. Uh, oh my gosh, I completely lost track of all of my people. Uh, and there's another buried dreadnought in a small air. Hmm, that's really far out there. Uh, ooh, yeah, I completely lost track of time somewhere. Hmm. So you've got my steam co Okay, so you've got three steam cores. Nine hours there, 20 hours back. We're looking at less than 24 hours, or 48 hours. So the chance of 22 plus the trip back to here, which is going to be on the order of 22 again. Not too good. Oh, you were you were turned back. The blueprint. Oh, you know what? They turned back, so I wasn't paying attention to sending them out again. So we've got an endless desert, we've got a small airship. Uh, I mean, I can forward you out here 20 and then 22. We're kind of in the same pickle. Uh, so I can go to here. I could go to 18. Isolated shelter, so that might be people. Endless desert. Yellow flag is really far out there. Maybe we go here, and then decide which of these to go to. Well, this is just a point. That might be people. Oh geez, we've got two of you guys. Snow dune, just endless desert. Alright, we got two and two again, so these are getting somewhat predictable here. Uh, 
Alright, so we were setting up... Yeah, we are running this just for a kitchen here. That should help process some of the... some of the food. And hopefully increase some of our efficiency here. Storm on the horizon, there goes our hope. Jeez, I hit that just in time. Waiting. Uh, all right, time. Thirteen hundred. This is like seven. Hmm. You still got some time. Uh, twelve hours and maybe twelve hours back. Wait, this is just oh, uh, well, it's just a waypoint though. Dreadnought. Uh, disabled by cast engine malfunction. Fuel in the tanks. Okay, that's not too bad. All in all. And then you're headed home for... Well, uh, okay, so it's up here 23 hours. Uh, you reached a point. All right. 17, here's the point. Can't really do anything with that. So 17 hours. And it's going to be at least 17 back. We're at 19. We've got... So call that 4 plus 7 plus 24. That's... We're not carrying anything. Mm, let's see, so 17 hours out of the 24. Gives me an extra 7. 7 plus 7, 14, 18. That could stretch to 18. By the time we get all the way out there. Easily. I think it's... Well, I guess we have to try this sometime. It feels like they're always getting in early. Probably a good thing to keep storing. Snow Dune. Stone Ship. Jeez, that's far out there. It's just a point in the endless, endless desert. Well, 17 and whatever that turns into now that it's even later. Probably not. I can't join up with you. Oh, what did my uh, housing total end up as? 141. I think that should be plenty for whatever, whatever we've got incoming. Okay, 
Alright, so that's our another one again. Nope. You're waiting. Oh. The point you were heading to got iced out. So, like, even if we could make it, the storm is still precluding certain possibilities. Okay, yeah, these are just some of the cold houses that we didn't bother taking down. No one's complaining about being cold. Cookhouse Ancestor. Hellish kitchen. <laughs> Truth be told, I don't uh, anyone envy anyone who'd have to work there. The design was supposed to be easy to build with rudimentary tools and materials. I'll be as comfortable as possible. Mumford's team focused entirely on the former criterion. Easy to build. Neglecting the latter. The result is an abject failure. A cramped hovel where the diners would get frostbitten while the cooks would get burnt. Turning meals into particularly cruel torture. I, in, I intend to insist on a redesign that meets all of our requirements. But I fear that even in a proper kitchen, there will soon be no ingredients nor time to make proper meals. When hundreds have to be fed every single day. And concerning spices, they're frowned upon as a waste of precious space on dreadnoughts. It is estimate the average consumption of salt alone exceeds 10 pounds per capita per annum, which means that in less than a year it will be gone. My dear, can you imagine life without salt? All right, so you are waiting at town. Nick isn't so far out anymore, is it? Once again, we got a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, you have returned home. Yeah, they kind of turned around and barely made it. Uh, oh, uh, I never even turned the medical wing off last time. <laughs> Probably we were trying to heal up our sick and then just kept running going. Alright, hunters are inoperative. So we're hot houses, doesn't really hurt us though. Just got some automatons standing around. Time. Get moving. We build that hope. I wish it would. Well, it has to be one of these two. Okay, this steam hub is on 24 hours. Oh. This heater is on. Hmm? Is it just that cold? Oh. You fell outside of the range. Well, shut that down. If we needed the steel, I could move my hothouse uh, automatons over there a bit.
Yeah, factory's out too. Oof. Alright, I see it's extra rations time. Uh... I wish it was easier to, like, locate all of these people. House. Enter at home. Right, we're still in stage one where it's merely a bit chilly. And... Well, okay, so the fighting arenas are freezing even when you're in good times. And there's no good way to turn them off. Except to deconstruct them during storms, which is kind of a pain in the butt. What we do need to do, though... Uh, oh, this is disabled if there's no patients. Cool. Right, because that's the disabled one. And we've got an infirmary over... Oh, no, it's probably because it's disabled, not because there's patients. But anyway. Uh, we'll have those working at full capacity. Okay, now it gets really cold. Back to normal. Okay, so that means we can take our heat zone down. I don't think any of the steam ups well. Like, I could have used that to fix the one steel mill. Time. Get back to work. Okay, we're actually beating down the sickness right now. And there'll probably be more when they go out to the fighting arenas again. Time rest, folks. Yeah, 1920... I mean, that should have, yeah, it's left us right exactly where we were with the overdrive. Yep. In the wee hours. People in the, well. Yeah, there's nothing that will keep that cookhouse warm. That, that kind of applies to all the cookhouses. Yeah, the people are easy. Yeah, man, look at all the people going through these cold areas. Uh, let's try normal speeds. So you can at least see them moving. Yeah, so we got some transit through here. Got some transit through here to that cookhouse. Yeah, so I mean, th there might be a, a layer of city design that you don't really see most of the time. Where you want people like workplace, housing, cookhouse. Uh, fighting arena in a reasonably warm place. Why are we getting so sick this time? I mean, we did add this little subdivision over here that created a new path through this way. I guess we can turn this on as long as we're there. It's getting patience. Uh, oh, and these need to be refreshed. Uh, I think that means the cooldown is almost reset. Yeah. You still got patience. You've still got patience. You've just been activated. It's a care house. Man, I actually think we were doing better with the um, fighting rings farther outside. 
I'm not sure I understand that. Or maybe I changed my pathing for food. Because this is actually worse than we had the extra sickness. I mean, overdriving for a little bit would keep people warm when they're outside, warmer when they're outside. We do have a little bit of a medical crisis right now. Oh, but but weather broke, so I just didn't want to forget about that. Uh, beacon. All right, we've got a two-step rise again. So this is going to be our prime building season. Uh, we've got a few steam cores, so I could continue to double down on hothouses. Just to be sure that we've got that food... S right. Uh, all the hunters need to be turned back on. Just to make sure we've got completely covered on both ends. For whatever little crisis comes up. Or I can or I could keep switching out to infirmaries. We've got the engineers and they have faster recovery times. There's also a bunch of steam buildings we could build, but like a lot of that's resources that we don't need. I mean, yeah, I'm running a couple steam coal mines, including one that we're not. No, it's an advanced steelworks. Uh, we're not even really running at all. Let's see, you are advanced steelworks. You are steam coal mine. You're an advanced coal mine. So there's that. All right, sick is going down. Wait, why are storage near capacity? Okay. Oh, and this got shut down because of our range restriction. And this was turned back down. Some resources. Endless desert, endless desert. You're farther from the other guys. Yeah, well, we're also getting a bigger population. So, faster healing. I might want to, at this stage, just think about replacing some of these, but I also just probably need more more medical capacity. Because uh, I think that was pushing it last time. We got like 70. Uh, we don't get a total on this one. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Yeah, 70 is our capacity. Now I could use this space for now. Now, these require a steam core, but it's only one, unlike the hothouses. Now these, you might actually be able to do three in a heat zone. Wait, you could do, f well, you know, if there weren't rocks in the way. I don't want to spend all my steam cores. And this is probably going to be a food area long term. Really? I forgot that corner. I get both of them. 
Oh, you know what? It probably didn't line up. We need just enough to define it. Speaking of the temple. Keep building that hope up. Uh, and this is one that we almost might as well. Oops. Leave on all the time. And then you can shut down this entire other area as needed. Nothing to do here. Stone art, just a landmark, landmark. Uh, person out here, person out here. Oof. Kind of equidistant all around. All right, medical is good for now. Don't deconstruct. Save a little bit of coal there. Nothing to do here. Cracked ice. This is the point that you didn't take. Uh, lone boulder. I think it may have been alternate for that one. So your path is really here. Uh, here's our temperature break. We should go to this team two for a little bit. Oh, um, I, I guess I already, already did the construction. Oh well. Animal migration. Ten percent less raw food. You know, that was a big deal the first time. Some, well, no, not for this, but the hope is no longer a problem would be kind of nice not to click those all the time. Yeah, the percentage of people would be pretty severe at this point, though. Nothing to do here. And that's what we found. Now, what's our housing situation look like? 141 should probably should be able to handle anything we get this round. Old shelter. So that's closer. We'd be more likely to have people. Ice, uh, lost vehicle, buried Hamlet. 
Yeah, I think that's people. Yeah, what is... Yeah, efficiency gauge for everything. 0% for things that are off, you don't say. Steam coal mine, coal mine, that's being worked, I don't remember where all my automatons are. Steam lorry, steam cores! That is kind of the end of that. So maybe we'll pick up some people. Or your other path was Frozen Pond. Oh, uh, man. Why don't we actually head back here first? Dreadnought. Uh, that probably means, yep, you can just barely get to the Dreadnoughts in storm time. Which means, yeah, probably that might be some steam cores or something, but this is kind of what we're playing for right now. We're kind of reaching the point where storage is getting ridiculous. Lost vehicle, steel and coal, and another bear dreadnought. And event. They actually have a time to run food. 500 per day. 7,000. Yeah, it lost us a, a good long time. Well, I mean, two weeks, but... Explore. Fire has gutted. That is one steam core. Uh, I think somebody else found some. It seems like there's maybe like one of each difficulty in each round. Uh, no, wait, waiting. Oh, that's right. You were on a waypoint to come back out to Frozen Pond. Well, that wasn't as close as I was thinking, but. Uh, I do have to start being mindful of this. Uh, stable but catastrophic engine malfunction. 250, 100. You were headed home. So I got two that are headed home. Probably won't be able to do much. And one who's still exploring far out. Uh, this is probably time to turn our heat up. It takes some time to change. Uh, and it's not deep freeze yet, so... Our... Our desperate hunters can just keep on getting a little bit of food. Yep. Clock time. Get moving.
Man, normal scouts are on really long trips this time. Painted toy horse. The ship was going down. We were about to board the lifeboats when I noticed that Robert had disappeared. You can imagine my thoughts. I rushed back to our cabin, waiting in ice-deep water to my knees, but he wasn't there. Or ice-cold water to my knees. Desperation seized me, but then I heard the patter of his feet above. He emerged from the tangle of smashed crates. I caught him in my arms and ran. We barely made it. As we cast off, I noticed that Robert was clutching something tightly in his hands. I didn't want him to drown, he said. He can't swim. See? Because he's a horsey, but with wheels. So here it is. The story of how this part of the collection was saved. The rest now lies at the bottom, and I pray that the crates which weren't crushed by the ice hold until we can retrieve them. Mm. Oh, we're at 1215. <clears throat> Frozen Pond. Buried Dreadnought. Wow. Maybe that was supposed to lead you out to here. I don't know. I didn't really check my time on that. Uh, okay, so you... Speaking of checking times... Okay, so that would be 48 hours. Probably pretty comfortable. I think that's actually three dreadnoughts this time. Uh, so get there fast. Storm shelter. Point. Damage snow cap, probably parts. I lone boulder is just a point. Buried hamlet is probably people. Uh, so you can get there in one day, 24 hours. Well, that's that's almost two days right there. Now, we could use waypoints to speed it up a bit. That's still pretty far. Old shelter. You know what? That's about as well. Once again, I can speed it up a little bit. Uh, this, I'm pretty sure, is people. Old shelter, I'm not sure about. So I guess I should start learning these things. moving parts on our... Oh, there's little cranes <laughs> on the large storage. Uh, first folio. The finder of this treasure. <clears throat> this sometimes hath the brightest day a cloud. After a summer evermore succeeds, barren winter with his warm, wrathful nippling cold, so cares and joys abound as seasons fleet. Remember, not all is lost. The spring will come. Have hope and endure. With this I leave you and wish you courage. Henry Weatherby, Bookworm. If I must die, I will encounter darkness as a bride and hug it in my arms. Okay, that's... I guess this is the philosophical side of... What's going on? Storm on the horizon, there goes our hope. You are in town. I think Storm on the horizon is probably a 48 hour warning. One boulder just to point, you have to get somewhere else. You're doing that one. Uh, I think we decided that Buried Hamlet is gonna be probably too far. Because we got 48 hours, you can get out there. 
You can get back. Well, actually, it's going to be the same time. 16 hours. Uh, it's a little bit more than half a day. And it's probably safe to go out there, but I, this is probably going to be too far. Uh, oh, you were at a point. Okay, so 14 hours, at least 13 back. That's about one day. We've got most of two. Uh, buried Dreadnought. Uh, see if I can show engine malfunction. So you've got 18 hours back, should be fine. One thing I do have to watch is uh, if, their, if their target gets covered, they just become waiting without really notifying you. Okay, remind you to look at my abilities. Okay, you have reached... Okay, you're a waypoint. Okay, we're currently 16 hours back. Uh, we have over 24 hour total. 23... Well, 24 plus 7. Fourteen hours, yeah. That plus the additional travel time back. Don't think we're gonna make that one. Old shelter. Oh, okay. Old shelter is probably not. There's four dreadnoughts, and it's already iced. Jeez. Wow, that was that was quite the round. Time reset. Alright, so this is just a regular cold. The case of the empty village. Abandoned fishing village. The gale hit when we were in the open. It was the strangest blizzard I've ever experienced, although I cannot say what made me feel that way. If it was the eerie wailing of the wind or the monstrous dark shapes formed by the billowing snow. When we finally got to the village, longing for a warm welcome, we found only ice and silence. The disappointment was all the more hard to bear since I remember the, the fishermen living there so well. They we were cheerful, if somewhat coarse folk, hardened by the cold and work at sea close-knit community, but friendly to the outsiders nonetheless. We've looked for clues to their disappearance, but found none. Apparently the whole village has moved out, taking everything they could with them, and to our astonishment, locking the doors. They were good people. I hope they will come back someday. Hmm. Alright, off, and that dreadnought was the last one. Oop, and you are waiting at town. Uh, 
you were just returning. Scout. All right, so this is going to be a two-two again. Uh, so we're not going to get a broken rise this time. Hmm. I guess we could just manufacture prosthetics. They got a big old counter here. Alright, and for 2-2, two -two, that's the kind of split we expect. <laughs> Storage near... <laughs> And that was with the reduced hunting. Alright, I don't like you guys spending time out here in the cold. Of course, the cookhouses are probably down. Okay, one of these came back. Uh, probably time to turn our, our little medical wing here. In anticipation of all the future stuff. We have... Oh, I never turned on your heaters, jeez. No, I did turn on your heaters. What the... Oh. I put it out... Oh, I was relying on the the uh, insulation of these rather than uh, the heater actually being on. Then, oh, so that be on all the time. And when we look at actual patients, we'll. Uh, boost them up. We got plenty of food. We have actually storage full. That's the reason our raw food is getting full. Stage two is incoming. Alright, people are getting sick again. Hey, Obs. Okay, two people got sick who were going to eat. Low risk of getting ill. Biggest concern, well, I mean, the, the houses aren't great. And then this area isn't great. I pretty much had this thing on just because people keep walking through here. I guess I could use field kitchens to raise the temperature of cookhouses. But I think it really does the buildings, not the area. Because it is specific to workplaces. All right, now, uh, actually, from stats, I might be able to find out which buildings have people in them. Infirmary, boost that one. Infirmary, boost that one. Uh, and this is probably going to end up with more uh, as time goes on.
Yeah, I, I don't. There's not. I don't think there's really good feedback about why people are getting sick or where they're getting sick. Slow down again. Now it gets really cold. Uh, the hazard was hunters, which, okay. Diversifying into... Uh, actually, yeah, the hothouses have actually been really good. I usually don't go into them because of the steam cores, but you kind of eventually acquire some here. We only got... well, we spent one and got two that round. It's off time. Yeah, we got some things up here. Yeah, yeah we're burning down some of our... pre-storm food. Uh, people are getting sick, people are getting better. Uh, I should maybe check in which facilities they're in. 161% uh, is gotta be the boosted ones. And nobody in the non-boosted ones yet. Oh, those are houses of healing. Oh. Does that even affect their... Okay, well you need it. I mean, we're probably going to get more people before the storm's over. You have no patience right now. You have no patience right now. You have no patience right now. You definitely need it. You definitely need it. Okay. Ooh. Well, fortunately, I added, like, two new infirmaries, so that increased our capacity. I guess it's just because I have more people and I'm getting more sick. I mean, I think there might be some room to do things like having a cookhouse, you know, like having these little subdivisions with a cookhouse, uh, maybe near a working steam hub that turns off at night so that people can go from work to home to food oh it, it, it left the relic site huh oh we went straight to 60 geez Oh, uh, just got, you know, 70 sick to, to chew through here. Uh, okay, beacons are back. It says reach the relic site. But it looks to me like, it's like, okay, there's a relic out there. You don't get to know where it is. <laughs> there's a relic out there somewhere. Uh, this has gotten as warm as it's going to get. Uh, I didn't really get any people last time, so we've still got plenty of housing. Uh, there's two steam cores, so we could probably do something. Uh... Give me time for an automaton? 
I'm sure we can find something for it to do. Yellow flag. Okay, so yellow flag is not necessarily people. And, oh, large crater often is people, but this is like our only other waypoint out this direction, so maybe we can get there and back. Colon raw food. You also get only one, one waypoint. Steel. Uh, now we have to split. Uh, endless desert. I don't remember what this was last time. Um, well, you've got a point to look at, so... That's at least you with you're gonna have, gonna have to go back. This might be able to kinda turn around. Yeah, if you didn't need steam oh man, if you didn't need steam cores for dreadnoughts, you could you could almost put put this on infinite. Frozen ground. Gathering posts and coal thumpers. I mean, the ones I turned off because we had plenty of coal and no point of people working the cold. Yep, survivors. Pretty typical amount. Oh, we discovered sites, though. So maybe we won't maybe we won't even find it. New automaton. Alright, so at times we have had this place running on automaton. Although we've got plenty of steel. I guess I could uh, yeah, I could part putting them in infirmaries for Im improved efficiency. Actually that might be the thing to do. Uh stone ship. Circle of Stones, that's a people site again. Uh, so actually, if we do that, do automaton on you. I mean, I could really shut down this wall drill for large periods here. I could really shut down a lot of things. Uh, coal balance right now is plenty. And this is the lesser of the two coal mines we've got. Well, you know what? We could probably do that when medical is important. Uh, speaking of which, we've cured everybody, so we can... Shut down this little wing. Wind snap snowfield. Buried, buried dreadnought. Oh, it's not and not because it's it's not a new point now, I guess. Okay. Or maybe there, maybe there's maybe now now you start finding ones without relics. I don't know. All right, I have. Okay, we can send you out. Uh, so there were some points out that direction. Uh, we know there's people out there. Haven't seen the storm. We got a three level drop coming. A three drop. Well, because we got four levels to a hundred. Well, this. Oh. Well, the storm might only be three then. 
I mean, I guess this guy is technically standing around most of the time. Like, every once in a while we can make a little bit. We can make prosthetics for a little while. Just because we can. Relic to acquire here. Let me guess. Oh, not even a steam core. So that should be should be the last one of those. So I don't even know if dreadnoughts will even appear. Okay, this is just a waypoint, excavation, endless desert, endless desert. Oh, uh, I've not been paying attention to my hope. And here comes the storm. On secret mission. Ah, the archives are full. We'll have to find a new place for it, but for now our task is complete. <clears throat> Main objective is establishing and following a set of robust security procedures and enlisting as needed the help of the technical staff to protect the scientific members of the expedition from dangers posed by ferocious Arctar arctic fauna and weather. Uh, the following part of your mission is considered a state secret. Report all mentions of anthropogenic sulfur aerosols or the term saffron crowd. Cloud, while, while doing your best to refute any and all rumors concerning them. Rappers have failed to uncover any conclusive evidence of the mere existence, much less the use of this alleged doomsday weapon. You must not allow such unfounded theories to distract the scientists from finding out the real reasons behind the recent cooling. Okay, you know what? There are these very different distant sites in the main quest I haven't gotten to. So I might have to do a run where I focus on just pushing exploration and focusing down those remote sites just once. Uh, you are waiting. Okay, you have returned home with our last relic. Uh, that's some people. That's some people. Uh, one day, two hours, straight line. One day, 11 hours. 12. Frozen Lake. Damaged Snowcat. Uh, Damaged Snowcat or Frozen Activation? Well, that's a point, that's a thing. Oh, and we have sighted our storm, so... Low Hill has some wood. Oh, this is the, the hanging tree. Uh, you got a Frozen River. Uh, we're still about three days out. Yep, that was our time reset. Okay, drop one level, raise one level. was a waypoint to get out here. Explore. 
little bit of steel. And all right, uh, that's just a waypoint. Well, let's go here and then evaluate our situation. Frozen River. Overturn sled supply trailer. All right, we're gonna have to start caring about transit times. Uh, 24, 48, and some. We're currently almost a day out. 14 hours, 18 hours. All right, let's try the farther point here, I guess. The starter. Buried Hamlet. And we still have housing, correct? Correct. If we keep going, we'll need a new subdivision at some point. Uh, you were a waypoint. All right. Uh, so this was, I presume, an evaluator situation. 12, 13. We've still got two days. Seems pretty good. Bundle up. Okay. So we're gonna have a little bit of chilliness here, and then that's, yeah, one, two. So it still caps out at 120. There goes the hope. Overturned sled. Crushed frozen bodies. Oh, you were actually nothing. Uh, 13 and 22. Well, we still got a solid two days. I guess I'll actually get us a little bit closer. And it's just all right. So this is where it's going to get interesting. Eighteen hours, twelve hours. It's a solid thirty. We've got twenty-four to there, and almost twelve hours in this day. Plus it's like seven there, so you should be good. Well, it will be a little bit farther back. We've got a little bit of a little bit of wiggle room here. Get more people. Uh, boost that. Oop. Uh, oh, you've returned home. Well, the people who are out there are getting dubious. So I think we're gonna have to disband you. Steam cores. Yeah, we actually didn't find many steam cores this time. That's probably about all I can do. Ooh, more steam cores. <laughs> Too heavy to haul. All right, so you actually got really close to that storm there. Uh, travel time. Yeah, you're the 22 hours, and really, hope we don't get any uh, messages about scouts falling into storm here. Well, it's not 22. We're not even 24 yet. Should be fine. Well, 
All right, we have no more basic capacity here, but that's just means we have to put longer in uh, sub-red temperatures. Okay, uh, so there's a couple of things we could be doing with steam cores. Uh, replacing housings of healing with infirmaries, because uh, they have a faster heal speed. And getting automatons to work infirmaries so they work faster, which I don't know what the exact speed bonuses from that are. It's like automatons, 85% with everything. Uh, plus they work 24 hours. Hmm. Uh, so we've already got one there, one there. Uh, I guess that's something we can do. Automaton... Okay, I might have queued up one. Nope. You are waiting in town? Yes. Steam cores. They brought back two. Uh, right, because these are queued up. They brought back two. We should be able to. Right, because they're working on one. So it's four total. I think that'll be okay. And don't hang out during this. Oh, I never even turned my hunters back on last time. We seem to be doing okay. Okay, now it's officially cold. Now we're going to lose two more levels at the end, so you just kind of have to wait that out. Because that's where you need your overdrive. Okay, yes. So, I mean, we could reallocate uh, automatons, but we're also building more. Do automaton... Jeez, and suddenly they're... Must just come back to work. Uh, infirmary. Cranking them out. Uh, are we, st are we still... Oh, no, we're still going. Oh, oh they, they, had, they had already consumed it. Okay. Got to rebuild our hope. No, you are chilling. Why? Oh, workplace infirmary. Oh, uh, oh, right, because I hadn't turned these on yet, which I really should. Because we're in the middle of our storm. Oops. It seems like... I don't know if moving the arenas into the heated zone was actually a mistake? Or if it's like one of these subdivisions created a really bad flow for people? It seems like we're, well, we're also getting more and more citizens, so it's a, a rate 
per capita, I'm sure. They, they, you know, they have a chance of getting sick. Oh. Alright, overdrive, and I completely forgot about boosting. I'm just going to boost everybody at this point because we've got most of our capacity used. I think we still got one disabled, but we don't think we... Capacity isn't the issue. Back to normal. Temporary hazard was... Coal thumpers. New automaton. Uh, we've got an infirmary over here. Actually, did I get both of these yet? Well, this is a full-time infirmary, so... be a good place to have one. Is that... it's not a great place to work right now, I guess? There are probably others to get turned off if I wasn't... It's like, eh, things are working out okay. Okay, so, yeah, once again, middle of the night is when everybody gets cold. And I don't have... I'm easier to see when they're moving. Yeah, it might be the cookhouse trips is one of my theories. I don't see people at the fighting arenas. Although maybe they were getting sick because they were out there. But yeah, I think it's just these transits. So the only thing you could do is try to heat the uh, heat the walkways. I think. Wait, where are you guys going? Oh, you must be hunt. Oh. Oh. People go to the archives. Oops. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me, guys? And it appears to be a free time thing, which doesn't have a good... Well, of course, that was the extended range, so we'll have to see how that works out. Uh, but actually, that was the break. We completed the archives. Uh, let me just do a quick check. Let's see, Master Archivist... Uh, new home, new home. Uh, yeah, there's actually some easy easy achievements I could do for kicks. Uh, that's the done one. Oh, on extreme difficulty. Right. Hmm. So there's difficulties. Uh... There's a, there's a high population one. Uh, let's see. Um, so there's probably some, some simple stuff I could do. But maybe I'll continue this a little bit for some for some kicks. Let me see if we can figure out where, where the sickness leaks are coming from. Well, okay, it broke, but we've got... 
Uh, got a lot of people getting sick. But between storms is seems like a pretty good place to break. And then there's a couple things with other scenarios that I want to try sometime. Uh, like there's fully exploring in the in the New Hope. There's a couple. I think there's a couple achievements. I was just looking at yeah. Uh, well, they're in all in a different order here. Jeez, some of them are kind of weird, but. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. So that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks, Obs, for the bits. Uh, thanks, everybody's hosting me. Uh, do we have anything to recommend? Uh, so this is in my usual schedule. I'm starting to move Tuesdays and Thursdays out. We'll see what goes on here. I have the network cables on order, so hopefully we'll have some quality improvement soon. Mm -hmm. That is going... I don't know what that is. So the preview is a black screen. Looks like some sort of console setup. So it's called Hack. I don't know what kind of game it is, but Lord Cyrenix is somebody I've enjoyed watching in the past. So if we look for someplace cool to hang out, that's someplace cool to hang out. And I'm, I, I guess I'm just always curious about some of these weird games that you don't see as much. So, yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm probably going to do a little bit more poking at Frostpunk. Uh, well, I mean, there's Friday. We can do, uh, try to try some achievement stuff out on here, and then maybe try some scenario stuff. Anyway, uh, bye.